We all know that one person who suddenly supports the popular and winning sports team out of nowhere. Or that one person that follows all the latest fashion trends. We call those people bandwagons. Basically, the bandwagon effect is where people do something because other people do it while discarding their beliefs in the process. The more popular it is, the higher the chance of people joining to do it. The bandwagon effect in sports would be like being a Knicks fan, but then switching to becoming a Warriors fan after 2015. In fashion, it would be like you used to rip dad shoes, but then suddenly you start wearing them once they are trendy. We all have a tendency to conform, so we start following the actions or beliefs of others. But when you are accused of being a bandwagon, it appears as a derogatory term. However, in this video, you are going to learn how to use the bandwagon effect to positively impact your life. Before we get into how we can use this to improve your life, let's get into the origins. A bandwagon is a wagon that carries a band during the course of a parade. It encourages people to jump on board and enjoy the music. The positive and fun vibes ensure a lot of people will jump on. So the phrase jump on the bandwagon first appears in American politics in 1848 when Dan Rice a famous and popular circus clown of the time, used his bandwagon and its music to gain attention for his political campaign appearances. As his campaign became more successful, other politicians strove for a seat on the bandwagon, like yo, let me hop on. They were hoping to be associated with his success. Jump on the bandwagon became a derogatory term around 1990. It implied that people were associating themselves with success, without considering that with which they associate themselves. Here's a hard-hitting truth. It doesn't matter how smart you are, or how talented you are, which skills you have, where you are born, or which family you came from. All that counts if you want to be successful in life is the people you surround yourself with. Can you see where this is going? You can consider the bandwagon effect within a group context as a herd mentality or a group thing. This means that you align your beliefs and behaviors to the group, even if it is against your beliefs. This happens because we are dramatically affected by those around us. you probably heard this quote before from Jim Ron. You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Sound familiar? If you surround yourself with motivated people, you will be motivated. If you surround yourself with lazy people, you will be lazy. Simple as that. This stuff is powerful. If you put a lazy and unmotivated person in a group full of highly motivated people, the lazy person will become a lot more motivated. When you surround yourself with people who sell for less, once you jump on their bandwagon, you will settle down there. You subconsciously associate yourself with what the group stands for. What we want to do is form our own bubble. One that is full of people who will motivate and push each other to succeed and be better. Ideally, you want to be around those you admire. They are already who you want to become, so they can help you accelerate your growth. Since we are living in the age of social media, there is no longer a limitation based on where you live or by luck. Reach out to people online and form a community. Plan what opinions, attitudes, and life philosophies you will allow in your life. Some traits I like are hardworking, success driven, resilient, determined, supportive. Now that's a bandwagon I would like to jump on. Pro tip, try to get a mentor if you can. That one person can help you as much as a group or even more. But hold on. While it sounds ideal to just surround yourself with positive vibes, it's necessary to have your critics. Positive feedback is great, but negative feedback will help you make progress. It's the haters and doubters that help you develop that tough skin. Enter the bubble of critics to get what you need from them and then get out before they drag you down. Another caution, this video may sound like I'm telling you to cut friends and family from your life. Please don't do that. Isolation is dangerous. If some of your friends and family are not up to your standard, don't just cut them from your life. You can spend less time with them, but please don't cut them unless there's a serious fallout. 
And if your group is telling you to cut people out as well, just be aware and determine their motives, like whether it is evil in nature or is their idea of looking out for you. Also, it may sound like I'm saying to be extremely selective in your friend selection. It's fine to just meet people and treat them as acquaintances or friends. They don't have to be close friends or the people you truly want to be spending time with. Let's recap what we learned. Surround yourself with people who will help you succeed. Remember to accept negative feedback. Have your standards, but don't just cut close people out of your life if they don't meet that standard. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed the video and want more quality videos. If you can't wait, check out some of my older videos.